regret to leave these lecturers even more informative than I'd hoped. Oh, yeah, I absolutely loved it. I think a girl just can't know too much about her neighborhood-friendly serial killer. I'm going to have nightmares. I just hope I don't. Well, why would you? You barely heard a word. You spent half the night with your neck craned to the door looking for Kevin. Well, he invited me to this shindig. It's not like him to not leave a note or at least call me and tell me he's not going to show. Where could he be? Excuse me. Hello? Hello. Uh, I wasn't sure you'd pick up. Victor, we were just talking about you. Don't you two have better things to do with your time? Well, we wanted to thank you. This dinner is absolutely amazing. You really outdid yourself. I'm glad you're enjoying it. Uh, th 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 don't let me keep you. Uh, one last word of advice. Don't pick up the phone again. Put the damn thing off the hook and relax. Well, I think that's a great idea. Good night. Mission accomplished. Kevin and Lucy will be walking down the aisle before the year is out. Lucy, come on now. You're starting to look desperate. I am desperate. It's busy. What do you say to a girl's night out? Hmm? Oh, so we could go back to my suite and have that room service and watch uh -huh. pay-per-view movies. Uh-huh, and I can raid your mini bar. Sounds like a party to me. Oh, boy, okay, and we can order that romantic dinner for two. Ah, oh, yeah. <laughs> Any meal we have together after this is going to be a letdown. Well, then I say we enjoy this while we can. special for Julie's homecoming, and this was my first night off since you were acquitted, so... Voila! <laughs> Mark, you didn't have to do this. I wanted to. Oh, I hope you like what I made. <laughs> <laughs> Frank, we get that. Must be the entertainment for the <laughs> evening. <laughs> oh, hi. What do you want? I hope you're not here for me. In a way, I am. I... I, I wanted to see how you were settling in. Do cops normally make social calls after trying to put someone away for murder? Frank. I, I wanted to make sure there were no hard feelings. Come on in. Please. Listen, you were only doing your job. I don't hold that against you. Good. Well, then I, I guess you won't mind accepting this gift. What is it? <laughs> Almond Rocco. When you were in lockup, I remember you saying how much you liked it, so... <laughs> Thank you, Detective. Sure. You know, I don't even know your first name. Oh, it, it's Alex. Alex? Alex? Should I be calling a lawyer for someone? No, no. Alex just dropped by to say hello. Alex? <laughs> I didn't even know you had a first name. <laughs> well, wonders never cease. You can still call me Detective, Frank. What smells so good? Wait, don't tell me. Uh, rosemary? Garlic. Prosciutto, maybe. Good nose. <laughs> Stay for dinner. I'm sure there's oh, enough. I, I... Yeah. You sure you don't mind? Lurk, let's set another place. We've got company. <sighs> a few weeks ago, you were begging me to help you find a way to get Kevin back. How did you get leveled by Hurricane Scott? We have this child together, and somehow we've always had this magical, unbreakable bond between us. What about Kevin? Kevin is everything I ever wanted in a man. Well, that certainly didn't stop you from sleeping with Scott. 
I wanted, it, it's not that simple. It's, it's really not. I, I got dumped, remember? I am the one who got left at that altar all alone. And I was very lonely and very sad. And I ended up in Florida with, with Scott. And it, it was magical. It was like we were transported into an, another world. Who do you want, Lucy? Scott or Kevin? It's not just up to me. But you have to decide what you want. How do you decide between the two halves of your heart? Do you want my advice? Oh, so now you finally come up with some advice for me. Yes, I would love to hear it. Well, I told you to just give me a minute. Do nothing. It is best to stand still when you don't know where you're going. After Sam died, it took me years until I was ready to let someone in. You can certainly last a few weeks. Okay, then. Who am I to argue with wise, wise Ellen? Oh, the words I like to hear. How lucky am I to have you in my corner? Oh, well, we'll save that conversation for another day. But do you mind if we order now? Because I am starving. <sighs> Kid Flambe and his fireworks creme brulee. Ta-da! Such fanfare. Now, you'd better put these on. Oh, yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Right? And... Okay. And... <laughs> Hold on. I... Ha! And... Contact! Contact! Ha-ha! Oh, <laughs> sir! <laughs> And the finishing touches... Bonsai! Truly an uh, original. Well, Mary Scanlon will accept no substitutes. Now, I want you to know that this brulee is good, but it's not nearly as sweet as you are. Mm. Magnificent. The very word I hope that Kevin and Lucy are using right this minute. Do a job well done. Mm. Mm. <laughs> mm. All right, that was sinful. Death by chocolate. At least I didn't put that in the book. Speaking of, did you put together a list of murder clues that we discussed? Yeah, I left it for you at the hospital. You didn't get it? Uh, nope. Strange. But it's all right. I have a copy. I made a chart. Chris figures prominently in this. It was Chris's stethoscope that was found around Grace's neck. And no one had more opportunity than he did to plant that stuff in your closet. Kevin, Chris isn't your killer. Is this you coming to the defense of a friend? Or am I really stretching it? What's that? What is that? I don't know. <laughs> Victor! <laughs> well, it's a good thing Victor hired a guitarist and not a full-blown orchestra. <laughs> Anyway, as I was saying, I'm telling you, Chris... Chris is my friend. There's no way he would ever go to any lengths to do anything. That's lovely. You know what? I'm thinking that we should probably take the hint. You mean maybe we should put off the work and enjoy the music? I think that's what Victor had in mind. Have a seat. More okay. champagne? Yes, please. to propose a toast mm. to Julie. I'm glad to have her back here with me where she belongs. Here, here. <laughs> Thank you. Now it's my turn. 
It was about a year ago that Frank saved you from Greg Cooper. To, uh, to perfect timing. Julie, I'm glad you made it out of the basement, safe and sound. I'll drink to that. But can we change the subject? So, Detective Garcia, do you have family in Port Charles? No, no. Which is kind of a relief at the moment. Considering when bodies are dropping, uh, I'm glad I don't have any family to worry about. Excuse me. What? Did you make some coffee? Yeah. I'll, you know, I'll serve. You said. No, really. I'll help. You want to take your foot out of your mouth now or wait until dessert? I'm talking too much shopping. Well, you might want to give that whole murder death thing a rest. <sighs> Look, Julie. I'm sorry if what I said before upset you. I, I'm sorry. I, I just haven't been in a dinner party in a while. Don't worry about it. I'm overly sensitive anyway. You have every right to be. Look, I, I think I should be going. Lark, thank you for a terrific meal. You're welcome. Listen, I didn't mean Ju to... Look, yeah. Julie, I'm glad you're back at home surrounded by friends. That's all I wanted to see. Well, the next time Italian's on the menu, we'll give you a call. Yeah, you, you can... Uh... Bring in autopsy reporters. Thanks. Mm. Good night, Julie. Good night. What? Was it something I said? Didn't that guy here kind of remind you of Scott? I thought we agreed no mention of the word K or S. Oh, right, right. Oh, what is it now? Distressing. Kevin, Mr. K uh, loves green goddess dressing. Oh, you are hopeless. No, no, I'm not. No, I'm going to be just fine. I am not going to think about either one of them. I'm perfectly capable of that. I just need a little... Practice, that's all. Well, aren't you the big spiritualist? I mean, try meditation. That's it. You are brilliant. I just, I just need to clear my mind completely. You know that is a brilliant idea. And start with a clean slate. Come on, too. come on. Let's go. Are we going to eat? No, this we do better on an empty stomach. Do what? And why is it we all of a sudden? This is going to be fun. Just trust me. He'll absolutely love it. Now, listen, I need to get you some sweat. I have sweats you can borrow. Sweat? Yeah. Now, listen, don't eat. You need an empty stomach. Stay right there. I'll be right back. Yeah, I'll probably need a drink. Right about now, the guitarist that I engaged to serenade Monk and Lucy will be strumming those lovebirds right into each other's wings. Have I made the find of the century? Are you really the last of the great romantics, Victor? I just wish that I, I, I could have given... Them a symphony orchestra tonight. Oh, no, no. The one musician. Oh, no, that's a great idea. I mean, it, it sets the tone. You think so? Definitely. Uh, pardon me. May I present Hans Peter Kendall, who on loan to us for the entire evening from his klezmer band. Victor! Don't talk. Polka! some work done. Maybe we should. Nothing like law enforcement to put a damper on the evening. Garcia means well. It's obvious he's got a crush on you. Oh, are you worried about a little competition? Oh, you want my opinion? No. <laughs> 
Scanlon residence. Hi, Julie. It's me. Glad to see you back with the people who love you. Sorry, I can't be with you at our special time, but uh, I'm thinking about you. Who's that? Craig Cooper. You're kidding. He called to celebrate our anniversary. It's like some kind of holiday to him. Listen, there is no way that Greg Cooper can ever get you again. Garcia was right about one thing. You're safe. All right? Where are you going? Where are you going? Uh, home. Yes, home. You know, I've got rounds at 6 a.m., but uh, you're doing great, so just keep it up. Mm-hmm, mm hmm Thank you, I am. Wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa. I really want to thank you. I, I appreciate all the help. I, I think this is working. This is great. Thanks. Oh, sweetheart, you're welcome, and I'll call you tomorrow. Okay. Now, keep breathing, right. keep meditating, mm. and uh, don't think about you-know-who. No, 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 don't say it. Okay. Bye. Ta. No. Ta. Oh. I'm owned out. I'm all owned out. I can't do this. Oh, Doc, what have you done to me? You ask me for a date, and then you stand me up. What if something's really wrong? Wait a minute. What What if the killer is still on the loose? We know the killer hasn't been caught. What if, what if something's happened to my dog? It's so busy. It's so busy. Something really is wrong. What, Mary? What? Don't be so sweet, Victor. You get my hopes up. Mary, I, I am a man who has seen many visions in my lifetime, but none so lovely as the one before me now. Please, please do not think for a moment that I could play the cavalier with you. I was thinking that I uh, wasn't completely honest with you. When I said I preferred solitude. I would like you to be in my life, Victor. I would like that... very much. Now, I, 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 uh, I, I don't want to overstay my welcome. I, I uh, think I, I should leave on a high note, and this is a very high note. But you have no place to stay now that you've set Lucy and Kevin up in the lighthouse. Stay here. Well, uh, your sofa is very comfy. I, I, I like that. I wasn't talking about the sofa. Mary, I am aware of your strong beliefs, and, and, and you need feel under no obligation to... Did... Was it the fireworks creme brulee? Fireworks started long before the creme was ever brulee. <laughs> <laughs> Pardon me. No, it was my fault. There's some champagne left. Would you like a little more? No, thanks. I don't. Uh, oh. oh, no! Oh, my gosh, I'm so stupid. No, 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 I'm so right. sorry. It's all right. It's all right. No, it's it was my fault. It's, it's a little, I'm sorry. It's only a... I'm sorry.
Lucy. Doc, oh, hi. Th thank goodness you're all right. Well, of course I am. <laughs> Kevin? I... I thought you were meeting me tonight. What? I, I'm sorry. I, I don't know what you're talking about. A mistake. Just ignore me. Uh, just pretend I wasn't even here. L Lucy? Chat with Rebecca Herbst, General Hospital's Liz Weber, today at 4 p.m. Eastern, 1 Pacific, on America Online.